But it is nice to be here, man. I, like I said, I've never been here. I did, uh, I did, I rode in. I, my motorcycle's parked right across the street, 2007 FLHR. That's a road king. Uh, it's got the ape hangers on it. I don't have them on there because they're comfortable. I just figure if I get pulled over, I'll already be in position. Uh, <laughs> But you can check it. It's out there. Louisiana license plate. Uh, I don't like to fly. Uh, flying scares me. I have a friend that knows I don't like to fly, and he's always tried to convince me. With this, he tells me that more people are killed in automobile accidents than there are in plane crashes. Have you ever heard that? Okay, well, that, that might be true. I ain't never fell 30,000 feet out of my Buick. Um, <laughs> Yeah, which is another thing, when I'm flying, why do, they, why do they feel the need to tell me how high I am? <laughs> right, you ever notice that? We'll be cruising at an altitude of 38,000 feet. Well, I really don't care. <laughs> you know, as long as we clear the obstacles on the ground, that's all I care about. <laughs> you know, that's like being on a cruise ship. I don't care how deep the water is as long as we stay on top. <laughs> They try to appease you with that one on the airplane. They'll tell you, they say, in the event of a water evacuation, your seat cushion will turn into a flotation device. Really? <laughs> Why doesn't the plane turn into a boat? How about that, huh? <laughs> My seat's going to float. That's supposed to make me feel better. Yeah. Y'all know what? Dead bodies float. <laughs> I'll grab me a fat guy and ride him like a wave runner. <laughs> Too much crazy stuff going on out there with airplanes. I'll tell you why I bring this up. I went to see this movie recently uh, that just came out called uh, Sully, starred Tom Hanks, and it was about that U.S. Airways passenger jet that took off from LaGuardia Airport, and it flew uh, in a flock of birds, and they had to turn around, but they couldn't make it back to LaGuardia, and uh, uh, Sully, Sullenberger had to land in the Hudson River. Do y'all remember? It landed into the Hudson River. How many of y'all remember that photo op of the jet floating on top of the river, and all the passengers were standing on the wings waiting to be rescued? Yeah, not one of them was holding a seat cushion. <laughs> I think I figured it out. That's probably the first thing you soil when you find out you're going down. <laughs> You'll be like, I don't believe I'm going to be taking that with me. <laughs> well, no, ma'am, it used to be blue. <laughs> You guys should make the back of the seat the flotation device. <laughs> I travel all over the country doing this. Like you said, I work on board uh, Carnival and Princess Cruise Lines. I get to go all over the country, all over the world, actually. I was just in the Caribbean. You walk down the beach in the Caribbean, all they want to do is braid your hair. <laughs> and I'm not going to do that again because it's itching like a son of a gun. I, I know. I think it's these little beads that they put on here. I, I leave here, I go home uh, for a couple days, and I go to New York uh, to perform. I like going up north, man, except when I do, people make fun of me because of the way I talk, because of my southern accent. Last time I was in New York, I had a young man who wanted to fight me because I talk funny, and uh, he pulled a knife on me, and get this, it was a butter knife. <laughs> I said, what you gonna do, spread me to death? <laughs> I'm from Louisiana, I did 19 months in prison, I'll stick it in you. <laughs> The knife, people. <laughs> let, let me tell you this. I've been in this business almost 30 years. Let me tell you the strangest thing that's ever happened to me in my career. I was doing a show uh, not long ago. Well, I say not long ago. Three or four years ago. A little town called Pikeville, Kentucky. I had a gentleman on my front row. He didn't say a word during my show, but he stood up, took off his right shoe and then his sock, and he put his foot up on the stage and he looked at me. He said, what do you think of that? <laughs> right? I looked down. This man has six toes. And on my mother's life, I'm not making this up, this man has six toes. He said, what do you think of that? <laughs> I think your mother had a tough time with that story, this little piggy. <laughs> You've got one that's homeless. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's not gonna wee, wee, wee nowhere, is he? I broke my middle toe on my right foot about 
three weeks ago. Does anyone here know what a doctor does to fix a broken toe? No, they, people say nothing, but they actually do something to fix it. Somebody just said it. They, they tape it to your next toe. Where, where were you three weeks ago? That cost me $288. <laughs> No, he, he did. He taped it to my next toe. <laughs> and I could have done that. <laughs> I'm from the South. I have a degree in duct tape. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You laugh. You give me a roll of duct tape, some hay bale and wire, and a beach towel, I'll make you seat covers for your car. <laughs> he taped it to my next toe. I walked out of there thinking, God, I didn't break a kneecap. <laughs> well, I'll never get to Provo. <laughs> You know how hard it is to ride a hog side saddle? 